not even a teenager and printing protective face masks at home. This is the InsideEdition.com coronavirus news for April 15, 2020. Jorge Martinez is a 12-year-old who lives in Mexico. He's using his home 3D printer to make visors for healthcare workers. Each one takes about 45 minutes to assemble, and so far he's made around 100. He's been giving them to hospitals in his home state of Oaxaca. Healthcare workers in his country have protested against the shortages of protective equipment. So every one of Jorge's homemade masks may keep someone safe or even help save a life. Here's InsideEdition.com's Mara Montalbano with the story of another young person helping in the fight against the novel coronavirus. We've seen a lot of images online of doctors and nurses with bruises on their face from wearing their surgical masks for a really long time. Those masks can cause a lot of pressure to the face and especially the ears, which usually support the straps of the mask. But there's a teenager who's trying to help out these medical professionals. His name is Quinn, he's from Vancouver, Canada, and he's using his 3D printer to create these plastic bands that help alleviate some of that pressure around the ears. So far, Quinn has 3D printed more than 500 of these ear guards that he's just given away to hospitals in the US and Canada. And the best part about it is that he's found a way to help medical professionals on the front line without having to leave his own house. The U.S. hit a grim milestone yesterday, the most deaths from the disease in a single day. At least 26,000 people have now died from COVID-19. The news comes as President Trump says the U.S. will withdraw its funding of the World Health Organization. The U.N. agency provides information and recommendations about public health issues, including COVID-19. In India, the world's second largest novel coronavirus lockdown is keeping streets quiet. Usually, these roads will be full of traffic. In Milwaukee, healthcare workers lined up to get a treat from one of the city's breweries. Free six packs of beer, a sudsy show of thanks. In Austria, a company is making toilet paper snow globes. The Percy family is credited with inventing snow globes over a century ago. Now this new spin in the age of the pandemic, honoring one of the most precious resources. In the Czech Republic, a popular toy company has started making figures with face masks. It's a nod to the new necessity accessory people around the world are using. Case in point, statues and monuments across South America are now adorned with protective face coverings. Here's more coronavirus coverage from InsideEdition.com's Johanna Lee. Spring break may be canceled, but that's actually good news for local wildlife. Ever since Yosemite National Park closed their doors to visitors on March 20, there have been more sightings of bears, bobcats, deer, coyote. Basically, any animal that calls that area their home are thriving. And they're getting the chance to explore now that the hundreds of thousands of visitors that normally flock to the National Park are staying away. Nick, what have you got today? I've been working on a story about a planetarium in Maine that is being turned into a supercomputer to help fight the coronavirus. Usually the Jordan Planetarium at the University of Maine in Orono is open to the public and instead of just sort of sitting fallow, they've decided to turn over their computing power to an open network of virus researchers. It's making it possible for researchers in other parts of the world to look at parts of the coronavirus virus and see what they can learn about it. The hope is that this will help contribute to a vaccine. I spoke to the planetarium director, Sean Lodge, who said he was really happy to be able to contribute to the uh, efforts to fight the coronavirus. And he hopes that someday in the not too distant future, the planetarium will be open again to the public so that they can look at the wonders of the solar system and the universe. For more on the novel coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.